Hey guys, it's Dizzy here, and uh, here's another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going over the CC Ball effect. You can use this effect as a transition, or you can use it, how I'm going to show you today, as an LED signboard, like you'd see on like a football stadium or something. You could motion track this on a clip, then a mic, and you can tell it to say whatever you want. So, let's get started. Alright, so you're just going to make a new comp you're going to want it a thousand width, 220 height, uh, frame rate of 25 and let's just say 10 seconds, just call it LED. Right, okay, so what you want to do is make a new solid, uh, let's just make it like a dark grey. And we're going to go and type in CC ball action on the effects and presets to drag it on. And then what you want to do is change the ball size to 50. Right now, alright, so now what you want to do is make a new new solid. And we want to make it white. Okay. And then just copy and paste the effect on the previous layer paste it on that one and then you want to change the ball size to 20 so this is basically going to be the kind of ref like uh, I don't know it just makes it more look 3D so what you want to do is is zoom in and just move the little white ball to the top left corner give it like a no? right okay so what you want to do now is right click on that layer go to blending mode and go to overlay now it looks a bit more realistic okay so now you want to add a new layer a text layer uh, and just, I'm just going to type in kin and you want the size of the height to be about 295 just drag it down so it just fits the comp. Okay. Come on. Right. Okay. So we've got kitten, and you can change it to any color. Oh, spelt kitten wrong. Well. Okay, and now I just change it to any color you want. I change it to blue. Okay, so now what you want to do is copy and paste the effect on it again. So, uh, and if you've got stroke on, make sure your strokes zero because then it'll just look uh, horrible. Um, and a good font is Arial Bold, and the size is. 295 remember okay so now what we want to do is um want to make it look 3d again so we're gonna duplicate this layer oh sugar what have I done oh, bollocks. what have I done what the hell is this what the hell oh shit Done. Um, so what you can do is duplicate this, okay, and you want to change the color to white, and then change the ball size to 25. Okay, um, so now I've pretty much done, apart from to make it look a bit better we're going to add a glow so go to stylize glow and put them on both I think it looks nice on both yeah put on both okay and uh, now you, what you want to do is just press P on your keyboard on both of them Hi, um, click the stopwatch on both then go to 10 seconds 
control, click on both of them, and drag the X until the text is finished. And there you go. Preview that. It kind of looks like a signboard, like an LED signboard, which you'd see on a football game or something. Alright, so some ideas you could do with this, guys. You could um, just highlight them all, precompose, layer, pre precompose, you call it signboard. Um, and then just get a clip, a cl a clip which isn't moving preferably. Um, or you could motion track and just drag your pre-composed layer on there. And then just go in your corner, get corner pin, drag it on the thing, and then just drag it where you want. And then it would look nice if you motion tracked on a clip and it could like say something like go on or quad or triple headshot or something like that. Um, but for the time sake of this tutorial I'm not going to do that. But you can do it guys. So um, that's about it guys. If you have used this effect in an edit, uh, video response it on this tutorial. See, I'd like to see what you you do with it. Also, you can go back to your your comp and change, you know, the the text and the colors and the background and you know. So, uh, yeah, guys. So yeah.